In this video, we're going to be solving these three equations using the logarithmic forms of the inverse functions. Okay, so let's start off with shine of x is equal to 6. So what that's telling me is that x is going to be equal to r shine of 6. So I can go up here and say, OK, well, that's equal to the natural log of 6 plus the square root of 6 squared plus 1. And so that's the natural log of 6 plus the square root of 37. OK, and so that is the value of x for that answer or for that question rather. Let's take a look at the second one. Than of x is equal to one half. So that means that x is equal to r than of one half. So I can substitute x for one half in there. So one half, the natural log of one plus a half divided by one take away a half. half times the natural log of. So we get three halves divided by a half, which is three. So I could just write that as one half log three. And that's my answer to number two. Now, number three, cosh x equals 10. Okay, so that means that x is going to be equal to r cosh of 10. Okay. Now, be careful with this. Is it just that? Because if we are solving the equation cosh x equals 10, cosh looks like this. Here's y is equal to 10. We actually have two solutions here. So this will be r cosh of 10, and this will be minus r cosh of 10. So that means that this has two solutions. So we're actually looking for plus or minus r cosh of 10. OK? So this would be equal to plus or minus the natural log of x, or oh sorry, 10, whoops, 10 plus the square root of 10 squared take away 1, which is plus or minus the natural log of 10 plus 100 take away 1, so the square root of 99. Okay, so... Three root eleven, of course it is. So we could write that's three root eleven in there. And if you've watched all the videos up to this point, you'll note that actually we could write this as the natural log of ten plus or minus three root eleven. Okay, because we saw that. Um, log of x plus or minus the square of x squared minus 1 are actually the positive and negative of one another. 